A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. We are going to talk about a consequence of the last video I posted this week and a bunch of subscribers um, actually told me about this and I didn't notice but once I saw it I thought well uh, okay that just screams for an extra video for all the engineering boys out there so here it comes we are going to talk about the Laplace transform haven't done this in a while of the sync function sync of t so what's the sync function? Well, that's the cardinal sine function. Meaning this thing is more formally defined as being the sine of t over t. And well, now we are going to apply what we have derived before. At first I would like to rewrite what the Laplace transform of this expression actually is. This is nothing but the integral from zero to infinity of sine of t over t times e to the negative st integrated with respect to t. Well, and this is what we need to solve right here. It's actually quite easy considering we have derived a more general version last time around. Link will be down there in the description, you can find it there. Now, what was the result that we have derived this weekend? Well, it was that the integral from zero to infinity of sine xt over t times e to the negative zt dt is nothing but the inverse tangent of and well x over z. Now you might see some similarities here going on. I mean um, our x up here is nothing but 1 because 1 times t is nothing but t and our z is called s up here. Meaning what we are going to do we are going to say that for x being equal to 1 and z being equal to s, okay, we are going to redefine stuff. Our Laplace transform actually turns out to be the inverse tangent of nothing but 1 over s. And well, that's basically it. I mean, <laughs> not too exciting, right? It's a really short video, but it's probably going to help out some engineers here because this is something that you actually find quite often popping up the cardinal sine function. This is an, nothing unusual, to be honest. Um, just as a side note, if you don't want to watch the other video, just want to know how to actually evaluate this integral, what you do is you define yourself this integral right here, or maybe just this one up here, really doesn't matter, let's go for this one. You define this integral up here as a function with respect to s, okay, this is nothing but a function with respect to s, it's parameterized in s. Then you are going to differentiate your i with respect to s, and then you are going to get a certain expression here. It should be overall um, the differential of this thing negative this integral of sine of t times e to the negative st dt. What you then do is evaluate this integral using just um, yeah simple partial um, partial differentiation, so in integration by parts basically. And well, after that you are basically done. You are going to get an expression, you are going to integrate it, then you are go going to get, um, if it's the e to the negative st factor, a pi over 2 minus the inverse tangent of just simply z or s in our case. And then you are going to make use of the formula that the inverse tangent of s plus the inverse tangent of 1 over s is nothing but pi over 2. Okay, you're going to solve for this part right here. You're just going to add inverse tangent of s on both sides. Then you're going to get the inverse tangent of 1 over s and then you are done. Just as a little side note, okay, if you don't know what I didn't, uh, what I talked about, take a look into the description. There will be a link to the corresponding video where I actually evaluated this integral that we have here, which we used as a basis. And that's basically it for today. I know a pretty short video, but still complimentary and I thought it's quite important. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my comment channel if I can know what I want to say. Go over to Flamble Maps 2 doing calculus over there. And I'm until the next video. I wish you guys Flamble Day. Ciao.